Welcome to the channel IT Smart Training. Today we are going to start AWS Amazon Web Service Lesson 2. If my video is informative, please like and share. Definitely subscribe my channel to get more technological video update which makes you IT smart. So today we are going to start a cloud computing. Welcome to the world of cloud computing. So we all heard that cloud computing word. We are aware that cloud computing word, but uh, maybe some persons are, uh, doesn't know that the word is a cloud computing. What exactly it is? So if I uh, telling you the very briefly, that is a cloud computing is a very uh, shared IT service, any IT service uh, which we access via web browser. If we want to give an example, a very good example we have that is uh, we all know that about Google Drive or we all using Gmail actually. So Gmail and a Google Drive that all are shared IT service which we can use it. For example, uh, in Google Drive, when we create a Gmail account, a Google Drive quota 15 GB is already has been created, and it is it it is linked with my Gmail account. So we can store the data inside the Google Drive and we can access that uh, data all over the world so this is actually the cloud computing in a cloud computing delivered IT service via an user interface which you already described so delivered IT service via user interface or a web browser one more point that is computer in the cloud are configured to work together and various applications used to collective computing there are so many computers are there and we don't know what is uh, what kind of computers are there we actually access the that computer resources through a web browser there may be a lot of storages there so we can we are using that storage via web browser next point is the flexibility the flexibility of the cloud computing is very good there are resource that resource suppose there is uh, by default we already told that the uh, in a Google Drive there is a 15 GB of storage by default it is allocated suppose we need more storage in Google Drive so we have to request Google to increase my Google Drive quota so Google will charge some money to update your storage and the Google storage is expand so the resource is increasing or decreasing as per your demand or a requirement next cloud resources okay cloud resources may reside physically in a number of locations okay means there suppose uh, I upload some file in the Google Drive okay so we don't know that uh, the my file or my resources are uploaded in a Google Drive in the Google Drive is stored in which location exactly they may be in a India they may be in the US they may be in the China they may be Canada okay that's why the details are not shown to the service users for security purposes if we want to know the exact definitions of cloud computing so that is cloud computing is a new style of computing 
where the IT infrastructure available as a ubiquitous easily accessible and reliable utility service conceptually as similar to the telephone or a electricity okay so why we are using cloud computing why we choose cloud computing so if we choose cloud computing there is a pay as you use model how much amount you are using that much amount of money you have to pay to the cloud service provider lower TCO reliability scalability secure storage management lower capital expenditure fees up internal resources highly automated utility based easily agile and deployment your applications into the cloud device and location independent you can use your cloud service any device any location independently and that cloud service you can get 24 cross 7 support that is the main 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 thing you can access your cloud computing 24 cross 7 as well as you can get the support 24 cross 7 that is the main key scale of cloud so there are some features and benefits for enterprise why we use cloud computing what is the features what are the benefits we can get to use the cloud computing the features are highly virtualized and standardized infrastructure there are so many of virtual servers and standard infrastructure massive scalability fault tolerance highly reliable we suppose one server goes down another server will take place so we will uh, get service uh, 24 cross 7 without any interruption if there is many maybe uh, any fault in a uh, cloud service one server goes down another server will take place we can get intra and inter cloud load balancing suppose we have two cloud in the same organization or two cloud in a different organization we can load balance of that instant application deployment we can deploy instantly applications into the cloud these are the features of cloud and the benefits for enterprise that is simplified more efficient IT and the application management delivery more applications to large number of user because there is a lot of bandwidth we can get excellent service quality higher utilization at reduced cost time to market these are the benefits of cloud computing for enterprise environment now we can uh, we uh, understand that the cloud features and benefits for users features all are the same which we get in a enterprise environment features we can get to the users environment the benefits for the user that is no need to install or upgrade switch hardware access from any browser okay we don't need to switch hardware suppose we are using a very uh, low configuration system so in that system we can access cloud that is not a big deal unlimited uses the main thing is always on the cloud service access the cloud service from anywhere many services to choose from we can choose our uh, the service accordingly uh, our uh, requirement so if I summarize what is cloud that is a shared data center infrastructure fault tolerance storage failover and DR digital recovery site
pre-configure software stacks and that is the main thing pay as you go model suppose if I use a very small amount of uh, resources so we have to pay for that only not more than that the very important thing that is a capex and opex for cloud computing so a capital expenditure is a money investment that is a capex capital expenditure is a money investment by a company to acquire and upgrade fixed physical non consumable assets such as buildings equipments new business which is directly affect to the uh, balance sheet okay suppose we buy we bought a car that is an asset to a company we bought a car for a employee uh, our employee cab okay so that is an asset for a company and that is effect to the balance sheet okay that is a capex actually so we have uh, investment suppose if I if we create a data center so we need to buy a uh, air condition servers network switches uh, rack etc etc we have to buy that is ex that is uh, directly affect your balance sheet the operational expenditure is an outgoing cost for running to a product or a business for system which not directly affect to the balance sheet that is the OPEX so if we go to the cloud so we have to pay only the amount which we are using we don't need to uh, pay for electricity bill we don't need to pay for uh, air conditions no need servers to buy no network rack or switches to buy so that all are already in the cloud service and cloud service provider will take care of that product so we only pay for my resources which we required and everything including security will provided by cloud service provider there are three types of cloud one is called private cloud one is called public cloud another is called hybrid cloud so what are the difference between public clouds and private clouds private cloud is uh, based on dedicated resources so we have to buy that resources there is a dedicated resources and in a public cloud is based on shared resources so I will give you an example suppose uh, we are using private cloud so we purchase a hardware like uh, a server and using a cloud service and my users are using that cloud service so we have to pay for that server and we and that server is only used by my company in a public cloud their cloud service provider they also purchase a server but that server will shared by multiple user like I am using that server other company using that server that are shared server so resources are shared to many person or a company or a people so so that the cost will uh, less in public cloud okay next provides more control if we establish a setup for a public cloud but pur to purchasing the servers so we have definitely the more control because the servers and all the th hardware are uh, under control of mine in a cloud service provider there is a limited control we can only access the server but if we upgrade the hardware we cannot if we 
uh, if some failure in a server we cannot manage that that part will managed by public cloud service provider so that's why in a private cloud easy is a fully customizable so if I required I have a 10 GB of RAM or I 16 GB of RAM in my server so I want to update to 128 GB so we can in a public private cloud environment in a public cloud environments that we have a limited limited customization so we cannot upgrade that hardware part physically because we have to send a request to the public cloud provider they will extend my resources okay so there is some limited customization the controls are totally in public cloud provider in a private cloud there is some operational and management cost obviously we have to uh, uh, provide that cost actually so if uh, we uh, establish a private cloud so we need to uh, uh, take some system admins to uh, take care of that servers and we have to maintain the UPS uh, the electricity etc etc but in a public cloud uh, there is a very low operational and management cost this is a very uh, good sign of public cloud so what factor we considered cloud service model internet connections data protections and recovery digested recovery performance and availability these all factors are resides to the cloud for both private cloud and public cloud how does public cloud works so this is suppose this is my cloud service provider so this cloud service will created by cloud service provider maintained by cloud service provider and as well as published by cloud service provider okay so this is the cloud service user so user interface catalogs publish in a service options on a settings so uh, the user interface will provided by uh, cloud service provider okay so first I am logged with user ID and my service parameters okay and create some instances or a virtual machine over there whatever what service we required we just buy that service to the cloud service provider and the cloud service provider will deliver it to me that's it we no need any hardware requirements in our end we just need a laptop and internet connection that's it so there are some types of cloud computing are there there are some layers over there one is a SaaS software as a service PaaS platform as a service and infrastructure as a service you can see that infrastructure as a service which is is infrastructure as a service they are related to the virtualizations and hardware and platform as a service there we can get the platform actually I will discuss, discuss this uh, uh, elaborately in latter slide and in a software as a service we just access the software applications only so there are some providers these are providers are for software as a service these providers are platform as a service and these providers are infrastructure as a service so full form of SaaS is software as a service, full form of PaaS is platform as a service and ES is uh, infrastructure as a service. First we discuss software as a service. Software as a service it is a software delivery model. Increasingly popular system admin, no hardware, no software to manage service delivered through a browser service are delivered to a browser 
I will give you a very small example for a software as a service that is um, we are using online word Excel which is called spreadsheet PowerPoint presentation okay these applications we can use freely from Google so these applications are called software as a service we no need to install any applications in my machines to open a particular file so that service will be provided by a cloud service provider so that is a software as a service we just only access the software part nothing else advantages so a software as a service that is a paper use how much we can use that should be payable instance scalability security reliability and API is also available there software as a service these are the providers office 365 Google Apps these are the providers of uh, software as a service there are so many software as a service providers these are the example actually next platform as a service platform as a service built upon an infrastructure which is expensive then software as a service here we can uh, access the platform so advantages pay as you use instance scalability security reliability apis we will discuss a platform as a service later on example google app ng microsoft azure aws s3 that's a software as a service next infrastructure as a service there is a full os access firewalls access routers access low balancing access these are the access of infrastructure for a service delivery advantages paper use instance scalability security reliability and apis example is windows azure amazon ec2 that are platform as a service so these three are very useful things for our cloud computing and very useful terminology as well the common factor is these three that is paper use instance scalability security reliability and APS we already discussed that advantages lower cost ownership reduce infrastructure and management responsibility it can reduce the uh, infrastructure and management we no need to set up any infrastructure and no need to responsibility no need to take a responsibility for management that applications or that hardware allow for unexpected resource loss suppose sometimes you uh, get sometimes you can see your laptop also if we can open uh, so many applications that uh, then our laptop will slow because the resource consumption is uh, very high so uh, in a cloud service there is uh, uh, we cannot uh, ever for uh, the resource optimization so if we if uh, resource load is increased they will increase the resources hardware resources for me faster application rollout obviously there is a small diagram which is described uh, software as a service so this part web networking storage OS database middleware and web app server this part are take care by cloud service provider we can only use the application in software as a service if you are uh, asking about a platform as a service that is you pay for a platform software components like web application environment databases OS instances middleware your applications are built on top just see tnet1 and tnet2 here the tnet1 and tnet2 are under upon the applications here two applications infrastructure as a service we can manage all the resources all the resources of 
the company as well as we have access for the OS as well these are the stacks networking hardware virtualized instance operating system OS services frameworks then applications these are the layers or you can say these are the stack of cloud computing first software as a service this is the stack software as a service you can see that we are actually access the applications suppose we are using word we no need to install word we don't have that authority we just access the word online we just access the spreadsheet online we just access the PowerPoint online so we just have only access the applications interface not the applications not the applications DLL as well in a platform as a service application layer is a responsibility of our environment our organization suppose we are installing that application in a cloud service and the other part are maintained by cloud service provider in platform as a service if we are using infrastructure as a service applications frameworks web service operating systems these all are managed by customer or a user only the networking hardware and virtualizers are uh, managed by cloud service provider here you can see the responsibility we can access over here is a software as a service and the responsibility part this part green part is my responsibility to manage here is the green part and the blue part is responsibility of my, our organization okay so this is a conventional data center diagram so here are so many data center yeah, but, uh, here I uh, configure uh, four uh, uh, data centers which is located London, Bangalore, Shanghai, Los Angeles and we are using that data center different different countries okay this is a conventional data center okay and each data centers are not connected to each other and if you are using cloud computing virtual data center there are so many data center everybody is uh, connected to the cloud and uh, we are accessing the resources over there this is a con cloud computing data center and the data center are distributed in a geolocation larger vendors have proven track records for running services for a larger number of customers hosted in their own data center a typical applications can access how that can access users web layer then business layer then access the database this is the traditional applications what we do when it starts to overheat suppose there are so many uh, users are connected to the web layer then business layer and the database so that web layer will stuck the business layer will stuck ultimately we cannot get the service properly for that we are using load balancing network load balancing so many users are there they are using multiple web layers multiple business layers suppose we are using 20 uh, users using at a time so that amount of traffic will distribute it throughout that layers actually okay so that is the main benefit there are so many of cloud service provider like uh, Amazon Web Service, Citrix, 
VMware, Microsoft, etc., etc., etc. These are the commercial cloud service provider. So, if we learn the cloud computing job roles, we can get the data center administrator job, system lead VMware job, Citrix admin job, hybrid cloud architect, OpenStack architect, cloud solution architect, software as a service office 365 admin. So, if you have any query, please write in a comment box. I will definitely solve that your query. So now are you ready to upload to the cloud? Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. If my video is informative, please like my video, subscribe my channel uh, and definitely follow my all of my Azure videos as well which will uh, upload it very soon. Thank you. Thank you for watching.